Today we're talking about Cricut materials and how to choose the right one for your project. I'm going to share a few common projects and how to choose the right material every time. Let's get into it. I'm Sarah. You are watching Creative Ramblings where I share simple craft tutorials. If that sounds like your thing, hit that subscribe button. I am here with something new every week. So you have a Cricut. If it's not out of the box yet, take a look at the video up above. I'm gonna help you unbox it and make your first cut. There are hundreds of projects that you can create with your Cricut and even more materials to choose from. This video is going to focus on how to choose the right materials for your project. First, let's talk about why you should opt for Cricut brand materials when using your Maker or Explorer machine. These materials are carefully designed to work flawless with the Maker, the Explorer, and the Joy. They go through loads of testing and are safe for their intended uses. I love that Cricut Design Space has pre-calibrated settings for every possible Cricut material available. I don't have to guess or play around with settings when I'm using genuine Cricut materials. Projects like wood or metal signs or a planter like this right here are going to require a really strong adhesive vinyl. Adhesive vinyl comes in every color you can imagine, along with some really fun patterns and textures and even things like glow in the dark. When making a large project like this planter, which has a really wide diameter, well over 20 inches, you might want to opt for a smart material. These long rolls of permanent vinyl do not require a mat and can cut up to 12 feet. In Cricut Design Space, I'm using a few images that are available with Cricut Access. You can find the whole project linked down below in the description. Now I've colored three of these gold and three of these black, and I want to make sure that they're going to fit around the diameter of my planter. Once I have everything spaced out appropriately, I'm going to select the three gold items and attach them. This is going to allow me to cut each item from Smart Vinyl. This is going to cut everything evenly spaced for me. So I'm just going to pick the right Smart Vinyl material and then send it over to my machine. Cutting with Smart Vinyl does not require a mat. And this roll feeder makes using these big rolls really simple. Once everything is cut, I can take this big long piece of extra vinyl that I have, I'm going to cut that off and save it. You can attach scraps of smart vinyl to a mat and cut them later so nothing goes to waste. Now I'm just going to weed out the excess and use transfer tape to put the gold and the black decals on my planter. This permanent vinyl will hold up really well on this hard ceramic piece. Cricut Vinyl also comes in a removable format, which is great for decals or wall stickers or something that you just want to use temporarily. A really popular use for a Cricut machine is cutting your own stencils. You can create your own or grab an image from Cricut Design Space and use that to make a stencil. I always opt for Cricut Stencil Vinyl when I'm doing these. This vinyl is going to cut beautifully. It's going to weed. You can put it on a hard surface like a wood sign or a mug or a piece of metal, whatever you're using. And when you add paint, you're not going to get any bleeding. You can even etch glass with Cricut Stencil Vinyl. You can learn all about making stencils with your Cricut in this video up above. There are many ways to embellish clothing, and even a few different Cricut materials that you can use to do so. The best way to get started is with iron-on. This material was created to adhere permanently to fabric and holds up really well to repeated washing and wearing. I've personally tried a lot of different brands of iron-on, and I always come back to Cricut. The color options are endless, plus they offer lots of patterns and textures too. The material is easy to cut and weed and holds up to a lot of use. I created this shirt for my daughter, and it's made with three kinds of iron-on, holographic, glow-in-the-dark, and regular glossy black. I cut all the different layers using my maker, and then used my easy press to adhere them to the shirt. Some other ways to embellish fabric include using infusible ink. 
you can find a quick Infusible Ink tutorial right up above. I use my Cricut so often for making cards and gifts. I actually stopped buying cards a long time ago when I found out how quick and easy it is to make my own. Cricut makes two card mats, one for the Joy, which makes one card at a time, and one for the Maker, which can cut four. The packs of cards come with folded cardstock, an insert, and an envelope all in one. There's a few different varieties you can check out, and you can make some really special and elaborate cards with these blanks. You can also buy Cricut cardstock. This is thick, colorful, high quality paper, and it's the perfect material for creating gift boxes, banners, and other home decor projects. Choosing the right Cricut materials for your project is going to ensure it turns out beautifully and it holds up to repeated use. I covered some commonly used materials and projects here, but Cricut offers a lot more. Shop the links down in the description for a huge selection of materials to fit the project that you're working on right now. If you want to learn more about Cricut, check out this playlist up above or drop your comments down below. I would love to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. We'll see you next time.